Hello everybody. Today we are going to make a roast. I have a shoulder pot roast boneless. I got my potatoes, onion, carrots. Now this I've never used before. I usually use um, uh, onion soup mix, but I saw this and I thought, hey, why don't we give it a try, see how it turns out. So I'm gonna give that a try today. And the roast used to be my enemy. I could never get it cooked until it was fall apart tender. Well, now I can. Every time it's fall apart tender. So I am going to show you how I get this done. I'm going to be cooking it in my crock pot today. So let's get started. So I got a cup of water. I'm going to add my seasoning here. And we are going to whisk it until it is all blended. Now I am going to turn my crock pot on and I usually cook, I set it on um, high. First we gotta set the hours, it's eight hours. And I'm gonna cook it on high. And I usually just cook it on high for the first hour just to get the crock pot to temperature and really hot. Now we're gonna pour this over it. So I hope this stuff is yummy. Now I also uh, let my roast cook for probably two or three hours. Actually, I'll cook the roast. Oh my gosh, here we go. The carrots I'll put in first. First, I'll let the roast start cooking. Probably in about an hour and a half, I'll put in the carrots. And then now that then an hour and a half after that, I'll add the potatoes because you don't want your potatoes to be like mashed potatoes. Unless you do want mashed potatoes, then in that case, just put them in now. And the onion I'm putting in now so that we have a little extra flavor for the old roast. Okay. All right, got the onions in there. Now I'm going to place the lid on and we are gonna lock and load. I have these little handy locks on my crock pot to keep the lid from falling off. There. All right, so I got it on high. It's gonna take about eight hours, but like I said, I will just have it on high for the first hour and then I'll turn it to low. All right, I'll let you know when I add the carrots and potatoes. All right, so I got my carrots peeled and now I'm going to cut off the ends and Maybe about that big. And I will be putting these in my crock pot. Just dropping them in there. They're like, no, I don't want to get into the hot pot. But we're going to be. We're gonna spread those around. Probably give these about an hour and then I will add my potatoes, which you can see I have started peeling there we go one more all right put the lid back on that let that cook for an hour and then we'll add our potatoes all right you can see i have put in our lovely potatoes mm -hmm. so the crock pot has about three hours and 23 minutes left so I will test it all when the beeper goes off and see if everything's tender and ready to go if not we'll add a little bit of time if it's ready to go then we'll eat okay so crock pot is done I am going to take everything out of the crock pot and I got a little bowl or actually a medium-sized bowl to put those in Everything looks like it turned out really tender. I mean, look at that. Oh. Roast, same way. Look at that. Just falling apart. So I'm gonna put everything over here and then I'm going to make some gravy. Uh, I got a half a cup of water. I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of cornstarch to make the thickening for my gravy. All right, I went ahead and added three tablespoons of uh, cornstarch into my water. So as I pour this in here, I am going to mix it really well. 
until I get it to the thickness that I want. It may take all of it, it may not. I use a whisk as I pour it in. It helps create, uh, keep it from getting lumps. Well, it looks like it's gonna take all of it. All right. So I'm gonna let this blend in and get hot again. And if this doesn't thicken up to what I want, I will probably be adding some more cornstarch and water. Okay, so you can see this roast has turned out really <laughs> tender. This is going to be so good. It took me years to figure out how to get it right. And I found that the uh, crock pot is the best. Just sit there, let it cook for uh eight hours then add your vegetables that you want all right i'm adding some beef bouillon cubes to my gravy to give it a little bit more beefy flavor and then i am gonna have to add some more um water and cornstarch in order to make it thicker so we'll just let those cubes start to dissolve and then i'll add some more Uh, thickening. So I ended up having to take the gravy out of my crock pot and put it into a saucepan on the stove in order to bring it to temperature so that it would get hot enough to start thickening. And as you can see from this beautiful slow-mo, the gravy turned out perfect. Nice and thick and lovely. So, I hope you enjoy this. All right, so this is our plate of roast potatoes and carrots with gravy. Um, this is awesome. All right, I need you to like it, love it, and subscribe to it. All right? And don't forget notifications. That way, whenever I post another video, you will know right away and you won't miss out on any of these exciting videos.